Terminal 166 in Great Western Railway, Livery. This unit is used up and down the Great Western Main Line, providing stopping services to thousands of commuters each week. Today, you're going to learn how to take control of this unit, start it up, get it moving, and then bring it to a stop. Start by climbing aboard the unit. Enter through the cab door in front of you. Take a look around, and when you're ready, have a seat in the driver's chair. First, you need to get the engine up and running. Start by unlocking the reverser using the master key. Set the reverser handle into the neutral position. That alarm is the AWS self-test system. When you're ready, hit the engine start button on the desk to get the engine running. Now, set the headlights today. the train in forwards so we're ready to get moving. Using the reverser again, set the handle into forward. By setting the throttle brake to off, they will start to release. Nearly there. Now apply some power and get this unit moving. Ease the throttle brake handle into notch one. to a gradual stop. Set the throttle brake handle to braking one to apply a small amount of braking force and let the brakes do the rest. shown you here, you will do just fine. Stopping at stations correctly and on time is a vital part of keeping the railway running smoothly. Let's take a look at bringing a Class 166 service to a stop at Twyford. To start, bring the train up to speed, set the reverser to forward and apply a small amount of power using the combined throttle brake to get us off the line.
brake back to off so that we can just coast. Twyford. Apply some brakes now and follow a gentle, smooth braking line right down to a stop. Driver judgment plays a big part towards a nice clean stop at stations, but you'll learn that after some practice of your own. <laughs> 